go back here and it's now it's now nearly an hour so of course these are dry these these thinner parts I, I'll just lift this up so you can see what I've done see how I've got thicker paint at the top can you see it's still shining and it's obviously wet see that it's not just the Liquitex the whole lot of it's still wet up there down here it's all dry uh, and uh, this is the interactive this one here it's see how it's dry the Matisse is dry the golden is dry the Liquitex is dry the golden open is still wet okay so the golden open is designed to stay wet for a very long time and if you apply it thickly which you're basically advised not to do it takes a very very long time to dry and you might revert to using oil paint but um, let me show you the magic of interactive which although it's which is that's it there um, although it's dry down here if I apply a little magic solution to it it'll refresh itself and I can keep painting happily with it so that hasn't been spritzed for an hour it's nearly an hour now there's no point spritzing any of these with unlocking formula it doesn't work um, so the golden opens fine it's still uh, it still recomposes itself but it stays like that the thing about interactive is that as soon as the uh, unlocking formula evaporates it dries again now can I also remind everyone that if if your painting uh, technique results in some thickly applied paint and some thinly applied paint where you want to blend colors is more likely to be where the paint is thinly applied and that's where it dries the fastest isn't it so you can't do anything with these now they're set so you're stuck you've got an in-between zone where your thin paint has dried but you can't you can't over paint yet because the paint up here is still wet so what do you do you have to put the painting away and wait for it to dry or you get out your hair dryer or take it out and put it in the sun or whatever you do but you have to uh, have a plan before you can start painting over the top of it so um, to me I think it's very clear that, that interactive really has a very interesting property that most people don't know about um, we know this because you would think we would be selling cartloads of unlocking formula, wouldn't you? But uh, news travels so slowly, so I wish you would all go to atelieracrylic.com and download the PDF file which is sitting there for you on how to use the unlocking formula. And there's a little spray that we have and it just goes psst, psst, psst. it's not um, it's not a an activity that requires a huge amount of skill is it now obviously if you spurt too much uh, liquid onto your surface of your painting especially if it's vertical you will get dribbles but th 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 there is something called common sense which I hope <laughs> most people have a little bit of common sense so uh, 
if you want to contact the complaints department, I hope you won't tell me your painting ran because all I'd be able to say is just back down on the unlocking formula a little bit and it won't do that. So, <coughs> excuse me. I think that, uh, as I'm saying in the written thing that I've given you as a PDF, with with the good brands, there isn't really very much to tell with the, between the colour strengths and so forth. The Golden Open is not quite as strong as Golden Heavy Body because of the other chemicals that are in there to keep it wet all that time. We use a different method to keep because we're not keeping Atelier Interactive wet, are we? We're keeping it able to be kept wet if you decide to keep it wet. Now, if you didn't know there was such a thing as unlocking formula, you've already seen the part of the demonstration where I go along and I do that and I say, that these are all dry except this one. This one was dry, now it's wet again. It's uh, quite an interesting little bit of uh, home cooking, don't you think? Um, I wish people would take advantage of it. And you don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's not uh, obligatory, it's something that you choose to do by picking up your little spray with this remarkable substance in it and it might might um, relieve your nerves to know that it's an alcohol which is used in hospitals uh, as a rubbing alcohol so I don't think it has very many um, health issues attached to it so it's not something that we need to be worried about all right well thanks for watching and I hope you found this a little bit exciting because, uh, oh, I've got one more thing to show you. I'm sorry. We've got a thin medium to show you now. And we're just calling it thin medium because it is something that you need sometimes. Better turn the camera back on. I'm putting some thin medium out. As you can see, it is clear. And... Uh, it looks like water, doesn't it? But it's not. Um, I, I know it, for a paint manufacturer it's very irritating that, that bottled water is often more expensive than, than very cheap children's paint. But I can assure you this is not just water, it's got something else in it. It's a fairly, fairly mushy sort of a soft brush. Can you see what's happening? Yeah. Very fine detail. It's very easy to do. And the finer the brush, the more detail you can do. And it's quite surprising how long the brush stroke can be. And this is not a liner brush, it's just an ordinary soft brush. So, if you like painting delicate little tendrils the, or the whiskers on pussycats, then this is what you need, isn't it? So, it, 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 it's quite interesting what uh, mediums do to the consistency of paint. Now I want to just show you what happens when you put that to Joe Sonia. Itself being obviously uh, quite a lot looser in consistency than Atelier Interactive. And I think a lot of uh, people who are using Joe Sonia will really like this as a way of getting down a beautiful strong look at that and of course the more medium you use the paler the glaze will become
but look at the way it levels. Now I just go back and pick up the excess or I spread it a bit further until it reaches its level that it wants to level. Having tended out to that point, I've got to keep going. This is more work than I anticipated having to do. It's slave labor, and there you are, that's pretty much it. Uh, it reminds me there is another way of lasers that might interest you, and that is uh, the idea of doing what I call a drag glaze where you start off with not the thin medium but the this gel medium which we're calling I keep forgetting what we're calling holding medium fairly reasonable name because it holds everything together and if you use it to dilute a colour the colour will spread out like paint that's Payne's grey you've actually got probably more control than you have with this is a levelling glaze which wants to find its level um, and I if you've got a, a wrinkly surface of paint underneath it'll go into the crenellations in the little grooves and things and accentuate the texture yeah. of the paint. Uh, this you have to force it into the grooves if that's what you want to do. I haven't that mixed that in very well. But as you can see, if you take the trouble, you can get a gradation that you might find hard to do with other materials. I use my finger sometimes. It's very amenable to being maltreated this one okay so i hope you enjoyed that little bit that's so a lot of multiple use to be found i'm sure we ha i haven't found all the possible uses of these new materials which is why i'm a bit excited about them